Hello, Douglas County. It's Thursday, February 3rd, 2022, and I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County and the Public Information Officer for the Fire Department. Welcome to today's edition of COVID-19 Update with Dr. Janet Meemark, District Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Welcome, Dr. Meemark. Hey, Rick. Thanks for having me today. Hey, our pleasure. Dr. Meemark, where are we with the numbers in Douglas County? And what can you tell us, please, about hospitalizations? Yeah, so uh, right now our numbers for Douglas County for the two weeks, the last two weeks, are stubbornly high at um, 1,228 cases per 100,000. So remember, um, under 100 is what we're looking at for low transmission. So we're at extremely high levels of transmission continuing um, in Douglas County. And um, of the PCR tests that are coming back positive, we're still having 22.6% of those tests coming back positive. And we definitely want that under 5% as well. And so uh, we are seeing a whole lot of transmission that is still happening in the community. As for the hospital, the hospital continues to be very, very busy at this time. They've had some improvement in their COVID numbers, but they continue to be a severe capacity for the hospital. Is it still true that the symptoms from Omicron are milder than the other variants? Yeah, so when we compare Omicron to the Delta variant, um, symptoms do seem to be milder than um, the Delta. Now, here's the trouble, though. It is much more transmissible than Delta was, and that was why it was able to overtake Delta. And so I don't want people to have a, a sense of false sense of security about this, because even though it's milder in symptoms, it, you are still able to get very, very sick. The fact that we have been able to, you remember when we had Delta and some of those other surges, we were able to come down off of those surges a little bit quicker. I, I have to say, I really anticipated that we would have much lower numbers right now than we're looking at. And so it tells you the steadfastness and the ability to transmit that Omicron has. And so even though that, you know, there are milder symptoms, what we're still seeing is that we've had a lot of people that have been hospitalized in our our hospitals, um, our area hospitals, due to um, having COVID. Now, many of them also had other conditions as well. Yes, we granted them that that has happened as well, but still we have had a lot of folks that have to be um, uh, admitted due to COVID illness as well. Yes. Dr. Meemark, what can you tell us about COVID testing right now? Yeah, so for testing that we're looking at, we still have testing happening right now over at Arbor Place Mall, um, and it is uh, free to you to get it done. So Monday through Thursday, 8 to 3 p.m., you can get that done there, and Saturday is 9 to noon. It's very important to continue testing. Um, Epicenter, we also have uh, Riverside Epicenter Monday through Friday from 8 to 3. Please try to pre-register if you can. Um, that will um, speed up the process so that they don't get like cars all backed up and stuff. Um, testing is very important right now. I just want to make sure everybody understood, you know, with cases still as high as they are, please don't tell yourself, oh, I'm, I must have allergies or I have a sinus infection or I have some other unknown virus that I'm not going to test for. So these are, you know, that should not be your foremost thought right now. Your foremost thought is I have COVID and I shouldn't give it to other people. So please um, just be mindful of that and try to get that test done so we don't spread it around. We got to get these numbers down so um, testing will help. Wow. So we've talked about testing. Let's talk about vaccinations. What are the numbers for Douglas County residents who are vaccinated and what are we seeing nationally? Yeah, so for Douglas County, we have a 52% uh, rate of um, vaccination for first doses, 48% for fully vaccinated, and 17% for booster shots. And so um, I wanted to focus a little bit on those booster shots and how important it is. Um, of the Because we have only 17% that are um, boosted, um, this is a little bit of a concern. So what we're seeing in hospitals right now is that if you um, have had received your full doses of vaccines, first of all, that offered you a lot of protection against hospitalization and death. 
But if you got that booster shot, you received really a lot more um, protection against severe illness and death. And so um, there's several things that are in play here. So we do know that, you know, getting those vaccines helps. But remember, for a lot of us, it's been over a year since we received our vaccines. And so um, what they're showing is that your immunity will be going down a bit um, if you um, have been more than six months out. So it's important to get that booster shot. Everybody 12 and over are eligible for booster shots, and you can get them for free. Come to the health department and get those done. Um, also, important news in the vaccination front is um, we're seeing that um, Moderna is now FDA approved, full FDA approval for the vaccine. So very, very good news. Um, and we're also looking at, um, by the end of the month, having some data on um, people who are five and under being able to get vaccinated as well. So good news on that front as well. So we're watching for all of that. When you look at national numbers, we have 75% that have gotten that first dose, 64% fully vaccinated, and 27% that have gotten that booster. Very, very important. Please go out and get your booster if you can. Wow. So the numbers are much higher nationally than they are locally here in Douglas County, huh? Unfortunately so, yeah. But we still have uh, more room to, to get that done. Well, we'll keep getting the word out. We'll keep getting the word out. Dr. Me, Mark, is there anything else you would like to say to the residents of Douglas County? Yeah, I, you know, I can't emphasize how important it is to get those booster shots. So please, please get your booster shots if you're 12 and over. Okay, we, the, you know, uh, we're not, we didn't talk about this, but you know, Omicron has another mutation that's come along, and it's a, an offshoot from Omicron. We are watching that one very carefully, but it is thought that our um, our vaccines will hold up just as well. So whatever it is, if it's mu, alpha, lambda, whatever it is is, you know, vaccines are showing coverage and showing some efficacy. So please, it's important, but you got to get yourself boosted because your immunity starts to go down. Don't forget your mask too. Um, wearing gotcha. your mask during this time is extremely important. If you must go out to different places around folks and you don't know, you don't know their vaccination status, you don't know when they got their vaccines, it's important to wear a well-fitted mask um, during this time. This is not going to last forever. We just need to bring this down and then we can go back to normal for a while. So it doesn't stop the three W's. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch your social distance, right? Absolutely. It does not stop, but we may get a break soon. So, <laughs> Great. Well, for Dr. Janet Meemark with Cobb and Douglas Public Health, I'm Rick Martin for the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. Thank you.